Hey guys, my name's Opal, and welcome to A Sprout's Guide to Final Fantasy XIV. This series will focus on common questions new players have when starting Final Fantasy XIV, and where there is no question too simple. Today we're looking at the true endgame of any MMO, customizing your character's outfit and maximizing fashion. Glamour is the ability for you to make your gear look like another piece of gear. So if you picked up a new piece of gear that doesn't fit your style, you can make it look like a different piece that you already have in your inventory. Dying works about the same way, but allows you to change the color of certain glamour items. To unlock glamours and dyes, you will need to be at least level 15 and go to Vesper Bay to talk with Sviagim to pick up If I Had a Glamour and Color Your World. Both of these can be completed quickly within Vesper Bay. For Color Your World, you will need to give Sviagim a glass of orange juice, which you can purchase at a vendor very close to her for only 7 gil. For If I Had a Glamour, you just have to talk to the NPC in a nearby bar. Complete these two quests and you have now unlocked one of the biggest time sinks in this game. Now to actually use glamours, you will need to have something called a glamour prism. These can be bought from your grand company quartermaster for company seals, bought from the market board for gil, or made by a level 30 or higher crafter. The clear prisms used for that crafting recipe can be dropped from various dungeons or bought from vendors. My favorite NPC to buy these from is Gobrin, who was found in Vesper Bay by the fairy. He also has some very interesting glamour items, if you're curious. Once you have your glamour prism, simply right click on the item you want to change the appearance of and select cast glamour. This will bring up a list of items you can use on that piece of gear. Select the appearance you want to apply and voila, you've cast your first glamour. Now many of us find that one outfit that we fall in love with and we know we will stick with this for a very long time. Luckily, there is a way to reuse the same glamour appearance multiple times without needing to constantly use glamour prisms over and over again. In every in-room, there is a handy tool called the Glamour Dresser. You can spend one glamour prism to insert a piece of gear into the dresser for use. Important note, there is also a section storage space called the Armoire, which will allow you to store event items and most cash shop items in there without filling up your glamour dresser. You can see which of these items will go in your armoire if you see this icon filled up in their tooltip. We'll cover the other two icons later. Once you have all the items you want within the dresser, you can select Edit Glamour Plates to create a new preset outfit. From here, you can assemble a full glamour outfit that you can apply at any time inside a major city like Limsa Minsa or Idleshire. To apply the glamour plate, you will need to open your character page and the glamour plate icon will be just above your weapon next to the recommended gear button. You can even link certain glamour plates to a gear set so your glam will automatically change to match the gear set you just equipped. This is handy if you have two classes with the same gear type, like paladin and warrior, but have two glamours that you would like to use. There is no cost to applying glamour plates, so feel free to swap as often as you'd like. Speaking of those other two tooltip icons, Here's a quick rundown of what each of them does. As we've covered, this indicates that the gear piece can be put in the armoire. The middle icon indicates if you can put that in your glamour dresser. And finally, this icon on the left indicates if you can apply your free company's crest to that piece of clothing. If you feel like flashing your FC's colors to the world, all you have to do is go to your free company's associated grand company, you can see which it is in your FC's info window, and talk to the OIC Officer of Arms on the left side of the building. Using dyes is very similar to using glamours. Just like with glamours, you right-click the item you want to change the color of and select Dye. Keep in mind you can only dye items that have a small circle or hollow plus in the upper right corner. From the dye menu, you can select a color you want as long as you have a pot of dye of the same color. Dyes can be either bought from vendors, typically junk mongers, or be crafted by players. A good thing to note is if you spend a pot of dye on a piece of gear before applying it to a glamour plate, you can reuse that piece of dyed gear in multiple sets and not need to spend a new pot each time. The glamour system in Final Fantasy XIV is a lot of fun to play with and gives you a lot of flexibility to customize your character. I hope this guide was helpful in getting you started on the world of glam. Have any questions or notice something I missed? Let me know in the comments! This is Opal from the Sprout Garden, and thanks for watching. See ya!